The most famous and probably best-known fighter pilot outside the Germany Luftwaffe was Adolf Galland. Many people perceive him as the greatest German ace ever, but Galland believed this title should belong to Hans Joachim Marseille, who, in his opinion, was the unrivaled virtuoso among fighter pilots of the Second World War. Marseille claimed 158 victories against the West pilots. Adolf Galland shot down 104 planes, but was forbidden to fly combat missions between December 1941 and the end of 1944 by Adolf Hitler himself. After being promoted to the rank of General of the Fighter Arm, he became the youngest general in the whole German armed forces by the age of 30. He was awarded Germany's highest awards, seeing combat all over Western Europe, including Spain, Poland, France, Italy, and Germany. Galland was one of the few achieving great results both on the front line as well as on the command levels. Adolf Galland was born in Westerholt, Westphalia in 1912. He had three brothers, two of whom also became very successful fighter pilots in World War II. Galland flew for the first time at the age of 17. Although initially he had problems with mastering flying techniques, he finally managed to overcome it. Galland finished glider training by the age of 19. Achieving such impressive successes in various contests, he quickly became glider instructor and even owned his own glider. His next natural step was applying to become a Lufthansa commercial pilot. He was one of just a few successful ones, chosen from thousands of applicants. After completing Lufthansa Training Academy, he decided to apply to join the German Air Forces, where he was admitted. From this moment, everything changed. Galland was dispatched to Italy for secret training, and after coming back, he was taught air aerobatics at the military school in Dresden. He was assigned to the 11th Fighter Wing in 1935. Galland was one of the volunteers sent to fight in the Spanish Civil War. Although he did not achieve the fame of another German pilot, Werner Molders, he learned much. He flew around 300 sorties for the famous Legion Condor. He was flying the Heinkel HE-51 in the ground attack mission, but before leaving Spain he had an opportunity to fly a Messerschmitt BF-109. He was so impressed by this new fighter and its potential, he decided to become a fighter pilot. In 1939, Galland was flying in the Polish campaign and got promoted to the rank of captain. His missions mainly supported the advancing German divisions, and he was awarded the Iron Cross second class. After the campaign, he claimed to suffer from rheumatism and consequently was not fit to fly open cockpit planes. He was transferred to 27th Fighter Wing as adjutant, where he was meant to fly no more. While assigned to 27th Fighter Wing, Galland again met Werner Mulders, who offered to help his old mate. Galland temporarily joined Mulder's Fighting Wing 53, learning new tactics. After coming back to his home unit, he convinced the 27th Fighter Wing's leader, Max Eibel, to implement them. Adolf Galland shot down his first enemy planes on May 12, 1940. These were three RAF Hurricanes. This was a true beginning of his fighter pilot's career. Galland was shot down several times and had to parachute on many occasions. Although Galland believed that BF-109s were better offensive fighters than Spitfires, he had a lot of respect for the British fighter planes. When asked by Goering during the Battle of Britain what they would need to win, Galland famously replied, an outfit of Spitfires for my squadron, meaning that they were better defensive fighters than Messerschmitts. Needless to say, that answer left Goering raging. While having another conversation with him, Goering asked Galland what he thought of shooting Allied pilots who parachuted from their planes. Galland replied he would consider it murder and would do everything he could do to disobey that order. Galland shot down his 57th plane on the 5th of December, 1940. That made him the best scoring fighter pilot during not only the Battle of Britain, but also the most successful fighter pilot in the war at that point. To put that in context, the best RAF and USAAF fighter pilots claimed, consequently, 41 and 40 victories throughout the whole war. When RAF ace Douglas Botter, who was well known to Luftwaffe pilots, parachuted over France and got captured, Galland drove to meet him. He made him his guest and entertained him for a few days and even let him sit in a BF-109. On the 18th of November, Galland shot down another Spitfire, his 96th victim. 
Later the same month, he had been chosen by Goering to take over as General of Fighters, in charge on the whole German fighter force. He succeeded Werner Mulders, who was killed in an air crash. Galland was not happy about his promotion, not wanting to be tied to a desk job. Galland was frank in stating his opinions, which caused a growing conflict with Hermann Goering. He survived in this position mainly because of support from figures like Milch, Speer, and Hitler. On the 13th of January 1945, Galland was finally dismissed from his post after being particularly critical of the Operation Baseplate. Galland's last assignment was to organize a jet craft squadron, JV-44. The squadron was equipped with ME-262 jets and Galland carefully selected expert pilots from all fronts to fly the jets. The unit was operational only for a short period of time, and by May 1945, Galland attempted to contact U.S. forces to surrender his unit. They requested the ME-262 be flown to an Allied-controlled aircraft. Galland came up with an excuse, not wanting to give away his precious jet fighters. Finally, he ordered all his ME-262s destroyed. Adolf Galland died on February 9, 1996. Galland was so aggressive in air fights, it's possible that his appointment as General of the Fighter Arm saved his life. But on the other hand, if it had not happened, his record could have continued to grow and he would have added a far greater number of kills.